What do you know about learner-centered STEM education? And what do you think about it? No other topic has created such lively debate in STEM teaching and learning as well as in education in general. Learner-centered STEM education became popular with progressive educational theories and alternative experimental schools. But it was already practiced several thousand years ago. Think about Confucius and Socrates and their philosophies of open discourse. In this week we present examples of STEM education in which pupils are in charge of their own learning progress and results. How can pupils achieve best results in learner-centered STEM education? Let us explore how pupils can benefit most from self-organized learning. We want to discuss with you what is more supportive for pupils. The own selection of tasks, self-regulation of activities or collaboration in groups. Of course, learner-centered STEM education still requires educators, but in different roles. As designers as well as coaches. Pupils can discover and reflect almost everything by themselves, if it is well prepared. We strongly believe that such learner-centered approaches and methodologies are helpful and important for all pupils. That is true in particular for building interdisciplinary and transversal competences, such as media literacy and critical thinking. Have a look and find out how you can introduce learner-centered STEM education in your teaching and learning design.